Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video I thought I would take part in the 10x10 challenge. I'm not sure if you've seen it on YouTube but I've seen some videos and I thought oh I want to take part in that and do it particularly for spring. So it's 10 items from my wardrobe that I am going to make into 10 different outfits. So first up I'm going to show you the 10 items that I've decided to style for my wardrobe and then I'm going to show you the items on styled so you can see what they look like. So with this challenge accessories don't count so I haven't included any belts or any jewellery that is just a standard whatever you've got that you can put with your outfit but I have included two pairs of shoes and two handbags so yeah it was quite tough trying to decide what to choose but let me show you what I chose to style up. So first up in the spring 10 by 10 challenge, the first item I have is a white shirt. This white shirt is just kind of like a basic white shirt. It's quite thin. Um, it's from ASOS. It's, it's a long shirt with long sleeves as well. And I've had a lot of wear out of this. So that's the first item I've chosen. Second item in the 10 by 10 challenge is this jumper here. It's just a sweatshirt from Zara. It's in a lilac color. It's got ribbed cuffs and it's quite long. Um, with a ribbed bottom as well. Next up, I have chosen this white t-shirt, just a basic white v-neck t-shirt. You know how much I love them. This one's from Zara, size medium. So this is an item that I've chosen to style with it too. So those are the tops that I've decided to style in my 10 by 10 challenge. I also chose two kinds of like jackets. One's a blazer. I've chosen my brown blazer here, which is from H&M in an extra small, but it's oversized. So I've chosen this brown blazer as one, which sounds like it's got some money in. Yes, it has. Don't you love when that happens? When you find money in your pockets. I mean, that's made my day. But there we go, that blazer. And then the other outerwear that I've chosen is this biker jacket from Zara. I bought this quite recently, actually. It's the one that's got the belt attached at the back. So you're never gonna lose your belt. So it's this one here. This is in a size small. So I've chosen this as well. And for the bottom half, I have chosen jeans. I have chosen these jeans here. These are cropped jeans. They are from River Island and they are in a size 10. So I've chosen these. They've got some rips on the back here, but other than that, they're just a light wash denim. I've chosen these stirrup leggings here, these ribbed ones. These are from Zara. I've chosen to put these in as well in my challenge and they're a medium to large. I've also decided to style up my white jeans. These ones here are from Primark, the Mum Vintage range, I think this is what these pair are from. So I'm gonna style these up as well. And then handbag wise, I have gone for my good old Mulberry clutch bag. I'm just gonna go for that bag to style because I think that would go in most things. And this big oversized Isabel Morant shopper bag. When you're with the kids and things like that, it fits so much in, so I've gone for this bag as well. It's probably full of sand because we went to the beach the other day and I had this bag with me. So yeah, probably full of sand right now. So I realized when preparing for this challenge that I do not own a pair of shoes. As in, I've got trainers, I've got flip-flops, I've got sandals, I've got boots but I don't own any shoes. I mean, I've got a pair of stilettos that I wear rarely if I was to go out. But I don't really have like shoe shoes, like you know, like um, like loafers or um, the half type shoe that's quite in fashion at the moment. I don't really have many of those ballet pumps. I don't own any shoes, which is crazy. But I am a massive owner of trainers. They're my favourite thing. Flip flops, sandals, those kind of things. So with today's outfits, I am going to be styling them with a pair of trainers. These guys here. These are my trainers. I get so much wear out of and I thought it would be good to use these to style up in this video. And I'm going to style them with my good old Birkenstock. The weather is quite warm at the moment. We're very lucky that we've got warm weather and sunshine. During the springtime, these are the outfits that were my go-to and the items that I was wearing. So accessory-wise, I'm just going to keep in my gold hooped earrings here from Primark. I don't know if you can see those. Um, some gold rings that I've got my gold necklace and my gold bracelets. I'm just gonna keep those on. And I'm also going to style them up with some sunglasses. I've just picked this pair here, which is from H&M, and this pair here from Ray-Ban. 
So I'm gonna use these two pairs of sunglasses as well. They're not part of the challenge, these little bits that I'm showing you. And I may add a belt, but I'm gonna see what it all looks like on and then show you. my feelings there's a reason why i'm healing yeah i feel higher than the ceiling all because of you you and i were so sweet so sweet talk until we asleep asleep every night i fall deep fall deep but love yeah but you really get me get me make me fall to my knees my knees every night i fall deep fall deep but looks created from 10 items from my wardrobe what did you think which was your favorite let me know in the comments down below i really enjoyed doing this challenge and also it makes you realize how much you can really mix and match all your clothes let me know in the comments if i did do that and let me also know which was your favorite outfit don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to let me know in the comments as well if there's any other content that you would like to see Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.